Ring, ring. It's time for another episode of Crossplay Conversations, the show where we dive deep on the world of video games while keeping it light. I'm your host today, Jacob McCourt, and I'm joined today by my co-host, the sneaker savant, Joseph Hooper. What's up? What's up? Um, you got a shoe in, in reach or no? Uh, oh, no, I don't. I don't. He does not. <laughs> I don't. Next time. Disappointing. Next time. Next time. Uh, and our host with the most, it's Luke Lewis. Hello. Uh, and we have a super special guest today uh, to talk about a Nintendo-based topic. AJ McRae, welcome to the show. Hi. I am here. Hello. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for, for coming. Me. Let's uh, go. Tell us about yourself and what you do. Um, I'm just a guy that likes to talk about video games on the internet and the things Great. that make me happy and or angry about them. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think you'll fit home. right in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the the show and and the Patreon that 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 you've got. Well, Patreon's gone for various reasons, but we do have oh, another. Uh, we do have another uh, platform that we launched. It's an independent thing now. It's just shop dot You could get the merch I got on now. Love other it. stuff going yeah. on. Very uh, nice beanie. Other, thank you. You get other membership perks like exclusive videos. Um, our videos right now are more like involved, where like part of the process of making the video is part of the video itself. Uh, like right now, we're working on a video about the value of remakes and remasters, and we got to interview a way forward and oh, cool. friend, Kevin Kenson. And all of that is like interspersed throughout, like trying to figure out what the answer is to the question that is the Dang. video. Um, all of that stuff is available to members where they get the full interview because it's like a half an hour plus interview. We're not going to put that in the video. Uh, it's just going to be like a minute to two minutes in the video. But if you want to see the whole interview, that's how you get it. And then where are you cool. at on Twitter if folks want to find you? Um, Twitter.com slash A. McRae Jr. Or watch Redirect if you just want to follow the channel for updates and whatnot. Awesome. Well, hey, uh, we picked the man for the topic of the day. Uh, but before we get into the essential collection of Nintendo Switch games that you need as we uh, get to the end of the Switch's life cycle, uh, we have an icebreaker question. And this week... Uh, the icebreaker question is simple. There's been rumors about what the Nintendo Switch 2 is, so our icebreaker for today is what do you want to see in a Nintendo Switch 2? Uh, and I'd love to start this week with our guest, AJ. What do you want to see in a Switch 2? I just want it to be out so people can shut up about it. First, <laughs> first and foremost, more than anything in my whole entire life, that's what I want the most. Um, but other than that, um, I definitely do want them to maintain the hybrid nature. I think that that is like that's just something that's always made sense for them because like they have a lot of franchises that feel too big to be confined to handhelds. But at the end of the day, what they do best is handhelds. Um, so they kind of gotta you know, meet it in the middle there. Um, obviously the standard stuff of like, if you are on the like PlayStation and Xbox side of things that people are used to is them just doing the same thing, but better this time do that, you know, higher resolution, uh, stronger processors, but also on top of that, still be Nintendo and have something weird. That's something that nobody else would have thought was necessarily going to be involved in this thing. We never would have guessed it. Joseph, do you want it to be weird? Do I want it to be weird? Uh, I would say actually no, not Ooh. necessarily. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, I think the Switch is already weird, and if you add a little extra into the Joy-Cons or whatever, or add some... Add some accessory that does not completely confuse me, like the Wii U, then I'm all for that. But for the most part, similar to what AJ is is saying, like I just want more of the same at like a better quality. Um, I am really at the point where I look at the Switch and I think that's essentially a perfect console for Nintendo. Like I don't really need us to make any leaps or anything to any new hardware i think this is it um especially like with how popular steam deck is getting and like the mobile slash console experience all in one uh yeah just more of the same to be honest i don't i don't need anything drastically different especially i definitely definitely luke do not need an oled screen i don't need that <laughs> luke agree disagree Here's the thing. Well, I, I, just, I, I, I agree with everything that's been said except for that last statement. Because I'm in the same camp. I think 
what we have is great but to that point my switch oled is lovely why are we regressing why are we going backwards let's upgrade what we have so yeah i agree especially with what aj said i think processing power i think graphical fidelity that would be wonderful but in terms of like the core experience of how we play switch games i think it should stay the same i don't necessarily need new controllers or crazy peripherals or like different functions i just want like i want to play a ocarina of time remake and have it look incredible like i i want on a technical level, Nintendo not to be like the step below. I want it to be like on par with things we're getting elsewhere. Even if it's like, you know, think of like PS4 end of generation compared to switch or now comparing later PS5 titles. Like I don't necessarily need them to be generational defining, but like 4k output would be really great when docked. I'm not a technical wizard, but I feel like it's possible. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna do that. To be fair, um, I mean, I don't, I don't know if we're getting into that, but sure. <laughs> there are I things mean, that I do think that they're going to do. Um, I feel like here, that's here certainly the, a goal that, that they would have had to have discussed the possibility at some point. Yeah. Um, two things that I want to see. I'm going to talk about software because I think everyone here has talked more more or less about hardware. Um, it's never going to happen, but a boy can wish um, that they allow for other app marketplaces to be on uh, the Switch. So could mm. we see uh, Xbox Game Pass on here? Could we see Apple Arcade on Switch? Never going to happen, but a boy can dream. Uh, and and then light. what I love first and light. foremost is backwards compatibility not to have any caveats what nintendo loves is like hey th this works but then you got this weird thing or like hey nintendo 3ds xl you can only play this game on this unit like you know they're gonna be weird there's gonna be a weird thing with backwards compatibility but i would love it if it just worked perfectly again a boy can dream <laughs> anything else on the switch scare too? me specifically with your backwards compatibility thing of like mm -hmm. if we're getting like more technically demanding games is that a challenge with these cartridges? Can they keep making games on cartridges? If they're not making games on cartridges, then what do we do with these Switch games? I mean, theoretically, I don't know how Switch today works. Like, I don't know how the cartridges delivered the game to the actual hardware. But if it is just like the cartridges just have a bunch of data, I mean, I guess the real limiting factor is Because you're downloading much... stuff once you put in yeah. the cartridge. It, the question is how much data does the cartridge how how much data can a cartridge hold and could we see basically what the other consoles do is now still use the cartridges but some games are just so big that it's just a key and you have to download most of it from the internet that's how they probably can maintain the cartridges across generations but i don't know okay so here's the thing um with switch and also to be fair, um, with the other console manufacturers, with other console manufacturers across the board, games are just a key. Um, it doesn't mm -hmm. really matter how much data is available. It's more so because they want to be able to control it in a similar way that they can digital. Um, that's why if you're not connected to the internet, a lot of times it's like, oh, well, you can't check in to make sure you own this game, despite the fact gotcha. that it's, you know, like that it's a whole fair thing. call, it, yeah. With Switch, the cartridges are the same in terms of like the 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 like amount of capacity that they can have like they start at like i think like 4 gigs but they go up to like 64 gigs um but at least throughout the majority of switch's life cycle they're expensive so most developers just opt to go for the smallest possible uh capacity that they can fit the most amount of the game necessary to be able to say, okay, you have the, the, the critical parts of this software, you can download the rest. Um, mm. So the, the only way for them to like solve that problem, assuming they see it as big of a problem is to find a manufacturer that can have cartridges that are like as good in terms of like okay they have like good enough transfer speeds and like other neat fancy features and stuff like that for cheaper um mm. so that part i don't know i don't know who they're going to sure. go to, to 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 solve that uh that problem but that's the problem we're looking at it's not so much a, a technical limitation and so much so that 
that like a cartridge that does the things that switch needs it to do is just expensive um mm. i don't know maybe they can do some sort of like glorified sd situation because sd cards are relatively cheap but mm -hmm. i mean is it weird that luke when you said that my first thought was like are they gonna make them taste bad again <laughs> yeah, probably my initial thought was maybe they'll go all digital could Mm. Could that is a rumor. still have things be backwards compatible, but only if you own it digitally. So they Man. can do the DS to 3DS thing too, if they if they do keep around physical where it's like it's still That's a cartridge, true. but they they have the thing where it's like you can't put a Switch two cartridge in a Switch because we put more plastic. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so. God. Well, yeah, uh, only time will oh, tell, I suppose. Hopefully, there's not a Switch to announce before this episode comes out. We are recording this a few weeks before it comes out, so hopefully, no Switch two yet. Uh, but today, we're talking about uh, what games are the most essential if you're building a Nintendo Switch collection. Uh, so the way we're going to go about this is simple. Uh, I'm going to share my screen in a moment, uh, and then what we're going to do is go through round robin style and in three different categories, just throw out a bunch of games that would be important for a Nintendo Switch owner to own. Um, if they're they're obvious classics maybe we won't talk about them if they're under the radar classics then maybe we'll jump into it our goal today is to come out with a list of the 20 essential nintendo switch games that you need for your collection and of course there's a couple games that aren't out yet but we assume that most are out um so we're going to give that to you now i'm going to share my screen and then what i'd love to do first and i'm going to give the floor to luke for the first pick just because Luke, I, I feel you shining today. So you're going to get the first pick. Um, <laughs> Ooh, we're going to okay. share this tab. Uh, and with this, uh, we're going to start with essential first party games and not give Grammarly an ad for the entire show if you're watching the video version on YouTube. Uh, Luke, first pick. What are the essential first party games that we need? Give us the first one. The obvious one for me is Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's got to be on the list. Um I think it's a great game for all ages in terms of bang for your buck. You can play that game for hundreds of hours and continually find new things. Jacob, I know you're not a fan, but damn, do I love this <laughs> How game. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, look, I, we'll get into it later, but like, <laughs> sure. I think this game is fine for most people. Uh, I'm just not fine. one of those people. Okay. How dare you again? <laughs> AJ, Blast you, throw too high, how it, you throw it to how dare you. So you're next up. What's, what's your uh, game pick here? Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> mm. That was it next is my on favorite my favorite game Very good. on the Nintendo Switch by a uh, light year. Uh, it's similarly, it's good for any type of gamer. There, there's a lot of like, uh, there, there's a, a low floor and a high ceiling for like the value that you can get out of it. Either it can be the like board game adjacent, uh, family and friends are coming over. It's something easy to do. Or it can be the like, I want to be like a good sweaty gamer and become the best one <laughs> of all of them ever um it's very good at both of those extremes and i think that for that reason it is a a no-brainer for anybody tone what are your mains i need to know pokemon trainer and Love then it. for the annoying cool. characters min min <laughs> okay min for pokemon min. trainer Love who's that. your preferred player um I don't have one because uh, I am on the sweaty gamer spectrum of that, where it's like <laughs> I use whatever Pokemon is necessary for the moment. Um, definitely the one that I'm best with is Ivysaur, but I wish I was best with Squirtle because Squirtle's the best one of the three in terms of strength. <laughs> Squirtle's dope. Love uh, it. Joseph. Uh, yeah, pretty easy for me as well. We're talking Mario Odyssey. Uh, to this day, I still think this is the best Switch specific game for like the hardware. It just feel like something about the framing of like the scenes where Mario's running around the areas feel like it fits perfectly in handheld. And it also kind of scales well when it gets bigger. Uh, I love the art style. It's like timeless. Uh, and I feel like doing like the little tricks with the Joy-Con and the hat when I first got my switch really felt like I was using the hardware to its fullest uh, and also like the rumble features and everything. I think that's for me, that's the no brainer. I love super Mario odyssey. As someone who just played it for the first time in the last year, it's a great video game. That's crazy. Sure. It is. Uh, I'm going to go <laughs> next and put fire emblem three houses on here 
mm, which is okay. probably not the the pick everyone was thinking was going to be next. But I think this is like a generational like tactics RPG um, that brings Fire Emblem to a story place where we've not been for a very long time. And even with Fire Emblem Engage, which came out last year, like it doesn't hit that. You can play it like three different houses, a fourth in DLC, and it's just like incredibly fun, lots of replayability, great characters, great twists. So this one is the tactics game that I want on this list. Uh, back to you, Luke. Question. Oh, sorry, Joseph, Question. go ahead. So we can name any game and then yep. you'll categorize them in this list. Okay, okay. Exactly. Just making sure we're not doing only first party first. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm debating now if I want to... Th- How are we feeling about um, games that are available on other platforms? Ooh. Well, I mean, this is our list. Within this list? Yeah. But I, I think it's fine. <laughs> well, for example, so there are games where... I played it on the Switch, or maybe it first came to console on the Switch. For example, Hades, mm. I believe, came to console first on Switch after coming to yeah. PC early access and then came to PlayStation and Xbox and other stuff later. So I associate Hades a lot with the Switch. Um, that said, there are a couple other first party ones I want to throw out before we get down to that, but just food for thought. Um, I'm going to throw out Splatoon. Splatoon Ooh, 2. Which one? Okay. Ooh, I'm a big Splatoon okay. 2 fan. Um, mm-hmm. I think the Splatoon series is awesome. The music is fantastic. I think it's a great representation of Nintendo getting weird, getting to those B-side tracks. Um, and I think it's a really competent multiplayer shooter. It's a ton of fun. It's innovative. So much so that we've seen larger companies like Square Enix, Cough Cough, make games that are heavily inspired by it. And I think it holds up really well. I think Splatoon 3 is really, really good. I It didn't hit as hard for me just because I played so much of 2. But I think like whatever your first Splatoon experience is a really great one and it's a it's nice to have a multiplayer game that has some depth and substance for all ages but it's it's an appropriate shooter which i think is tricky to do and make it compelling love it aj uh luigi's mansion 3 even though i have a uh, i have a conflicted relationship with this game (laughs) oh um i think it's just like an easy game to recommend for people in terms of like it's a showpiece. It's like Switch has the reputation of like being like this anemic platform that's not really capable of being impressive technically. But Luigi's Mansion Three is a very good looking game. Um, also, you know, it's just a well designed uh, Mario adjacent video game that has like a goofy fun story with interesting uh, mechanics and puzzles. There's a lot of moments when I'm playing Luigi's Mansion Three, and I'm like, that was neat. That was a smart thing. Like, it's not particularly difficult to solve puzzles, but they're they're like problem and solution is something that not everybody would have thought about, even if they're like given the the very simple thing of like, hey, it's a ghost game. You use vacuum to suck up ghosts. Go wild. Um, A lot of the stuff that they do there. I don't think I would have come to the conclusion that they did. So that's why it's like, there's a lot of moments like that where I'm like, Oh my God, that was brilliant. I feel like Gooigi in its own could mm-hmm. bring Luigi's mansion three on this list. Yeah. I was going to say, cause the, you can play that in co-op and that's where Gooigi yeah. comes into play. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> Gooigi, you kind of got to use them anyway, even if you don't oh, play it okay. in co-op. Got um, it. But I mean, yeah, that's another part of it too, where it's like the, the, the puzzle solving element of, incorporating Gooigi and being like okay I I need to like use these two characters to to play through the game and kind of like it takes two sort of way but but not as intense (laughs) nice uh Luigi's Mansion 2 Joseph you're up three three Um, no Luigi's Mansion 3 yes going back to Luigi's Mansion 3 wait it's coming yeah it's uh HD remaster this year oh okay okay um I always think of Luigi's Mansion 3 as like Nintendo's like big boy talk game where people always bust that out to show how many copies Nintendo sells of their properties compared to everybody else. Like, so Spider-Man will be like, yeah, we sold 10 million copies. And people are like, 
Yeah, we just mentioned three sold 12 million copies. And, you know, we just threw that out there. That was just like a little snack for y'all. That's what I said. So that's <laughs> Nintendo. That's a crazy that's one to throw out because I don't even think it's on their their like site of bestsellers anymore. Exactly. That's Damn. why it's big boy talk. You're just like, yeah. you just, throw out, you know, just a little something to get 12 million easy. So mm. I love Luigi's Mansion 3 for that specific reason. Um, next, uh, a game that's near and dear to my heart is... Mario Kart 8. But oh wait, mm-hmm. I would name that game if there oh. wasn't another game closer to my heart <laughs> that's not actually a first party. Ooh. We're talking Hollow Knight, baby. Hollow Knight. Oh, I what on a the turn. Switch. <laughs> I was not, I was not <laughs> expecting that at all. I thought at first you were like Mario Kart, and I'm like, ugh. And then you were like, oh, but this game instead, I thought it was going to be F-099. even more so. Like, uh, no, I thought it was going to be like Crash Team Racing, and I'm like, oh, I my God. Too, yeah. Get this guy out of here, bro. Okay. Cruising talking blast. Hollow Knight. Everybody I talked to, for some reason, their first experience playing Hollow Knight was on the Switch. I think it's just because, once again, when you talk about the framing of that game it just makes so much sense handheld um that game requires you to get pretty sweaty on some of those bosses and i remember like just destroying my joy cons like trying to get all the button combos perfect so silk song i'm sorry i'm gonna play it on the steam deck but if i didn't have the steam deck i would be back <laughs> on the switch maybe even the switch too depending on on when silk song releases so uh i think if. when we're talking third party <laughs> it, if this, yeah exactly exactly uh third party i think hollow knight is probably close to top of my list when we talk in switch essentials damn uh i'm gonna bring out pokemon legends arceus um mm. which look is a is a game that has its issues, but I think it's the game that in the Pokemon (laughs) franchise that I've been most excited about for years because you get to basically throw Pokeballs at Pokemon. That's it. That's why I love it. Uh, And I don't want to put any other Pokemon game on there because, you know, they're fine. I disagree. Oh, I mean, I... (laughs) That's Shoot, this isn't go. what this show is about. I, this show is not about that. I don't know if we have the time for my thoughts on Arceus because they are layered. Um, but ultimately, it is not my favorite Pokemon game on the Switch. I'll say that much. Wait, okay. wait, wait. If Before, it comes down to it, won't... maybe we'll have this fight. What is your favorite? I'm just curious. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's hard because, like, <laughs> part of it... I mean. Like if you were to ask me now, like just gun to my head, what what would I prefer to play? It probably is Pokemon Scarlet. Um, but there are things that I like more about Sword than I do about Scarlet. I think they both, all three of them, all three of these games have technical issues. Um, mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, the game that they're all trying to be, I think Scarlet is a better example of like what Pokemon should be in its totality like all the features that you can do the value proposition of like why you can return to the game like arceus despite the fact that when it was announced and like the gameplay loop and the the fact that it's more of an action rpg all of that stuff vibes with me so much better but it's a game that ultimately trying to get every bit of time that i could get out of it i put in like 60 70 hours i put in like 10 times that for scarlet and that's because of how much more there is to do in the game. Is that DLC Sir? included so, or no DLC? Yeah. Even before the DLC, I put in like 400 hours, I think. Dang. Dang. Yeah. Luke? So, wait, wait. I, I'll let us move on. I will let us move on. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole thing. A random, whole thing. <laughs> a random side conversation. This is the 20th Central Switch games, and I'm not going to be the one to, you know, strike down Pokemon Arceus or anything else. But I will say... When you look at the Switch lineup, I feel like the Switch nailed every aspect of their franchise and every aspect of what Nintendo makes Nintendo except Pokemon. I feel like they, and this is debatable, I feel like they did not get Pokemon right at all during the Switch lifetime. This is a hot take. I don't think they've ever gotten Pokemon right. (laughs) Ever. (laughs) And I love Pokemon. I love Pokemon, but <laughs> as, that out, somebody, that as somebody that <laughs> loves Pokemon, 
like in its totality as a property not just as like video game guy and that's how i engage with pokemon as a property so that's the way that i think that it's best um i think pokemon is so much more than menu simulator the video game um mm. so dang yeah well, well, it's, that, it's, that could be the an clip, interesting sure. system <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's what I this want from Switch too. Go back and change my answer, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, this might come off the list later, but uh, for now, Luke, what's your next title for this one? The interesting thing I find about the Switch library is I feel like with a lot of these games, they're like all inclusive packages of like you buy Smash Brothers Ultimate and that's like your Smash Brothers experience that you could play for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Um so I do feel like Mario Kart 8 deserves to be in the conversation on this list. So I'm going to throw yeah. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah. You kind of have um, to, yeah. yeah. I know it's not an exciting pick, and I don't know. It's I wouldn't say it's on my personal 20 list, but I think it should be in the conversation just for the fact of, like, you know, no matter what age you are, if you have a family, if you have friends coming over, like, Mario Kart 8 has never left my Switch case for a reason because anytime we're visiting friends or family it's like it's 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 the party game that's in consideration and with all the dlc tracks like it is awesome i i know it is kind of like it's hard to be excited about mario kart when it's like the same game from 10 years ago but it's very yeah. solid so i just it, that's my old man shakes fist at cloud game on the switch <laughs> for, like by far because and i'm I not put, sitting around playing mario so kart many all the time. hours yeah I put so many hours into that game on the Wii U. So when it came out on Switch, I'm like, yeah, I'll buy it again. It's a good game. But I put so many hours into that game on Wii U that I don't want to fucking play it anymore. I'm over it. I'm done. Give me a new game or I'm <laughs> like, I'm, I'm over it. Get ready for Super Deluxe it. on the Switch too. I respect it. Yeah, I was just going to say. If they... <laughs> Clip that one. Uh, AJ, Got you're some up good, next. Good stuff. Uh, just to be petty, Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, but, no, I mean, but actually, not to be like genuinely, I do believe this because like Pokemon to me is such like like intrinsically a, a multiplayer experience in so many different ways. The fact that the furthest that Arceus goes in that is trading, and even that is limited by nature of the fact that the Pokedex in general in comparison to most major Pokemon games, is limited. It's like, eh. But Scarlet has all that other stuff. It does have the, like, frame rate or whatever, but <laughs> I think it nails everything else. <laughs> Barely a frame rate. Uh, Tech issues aside, it's yeah, a Yeah, but it's a menu game. game. You were just yeah, scrolling it, through menus yeah. and being yeah. like, mm, I'm going to use Flamethrower. <laughs> like, I don't care if the frame rate drops when I'm just scrolling through a menu. Uh, Joseph, you're next. Uh yeah, back on first party titles, I gotta put Animal Crossing New Horizons on there. Yeah, um, that I'm not the like I played uh, whatever Animal Crossing was on the GameCube, and I had a good time from that when I rented it from Blockbuster. But I'm not like a Animal Crossing stan, mm -hmm. and you know, you say it might be circumstance because of COVID or whatever, but this game got me and got me good and like. I think it's impressive when people start complaining that like crazy features are not in the game and that's like the only knock against it. They're like, why can't I, you know, hire a contractor and why can't we, you know, <laughs> make blueprints? It's like, okay, well, you know, we got everything else. All right. So I think, I don't know how they're going to one up new horizons and I'm excited to see it. So I think it's definitely peak switch title. Yeah, um, I agree. I'm gonna you can't jump in. Underestimate here. the cultural impact with that one. That's too, true, at yeah. the time. I'm, I'm like, it, it's part of me is like, I feel both frustrated and vindicated by the success of New Horizons <laughs> because like before the game came out, I was like beating the drum of like, this game is going to be huge. Trust me, this game is going to be big. Nothing to do with COVID. <laughs> it was just the fact that, like, Animal Crossing was already a game that was, like, bubbling, you know? It was, like, already a game that was liable to sell 10, 15 million units. So, like, a game like that or a franchise like that coming to a platform like Switch, it was going to sell 
a lot. But then COVID happened and exaggerated that. So then it like calls it into question where it's like, all right, well, <laughs> now is it actually because I just was reading the tea leaves and looking at like data and being like, yo, I'm telling you guys, game won't be big. And then COVID happened and it was like, yeah, it was big, but was it? You know, it's like there, there's yeah. always going to be that asterisk there. I feel like I picked it up right as everything was shutting down where I was. And so mm -hmm. like, that was just all I did for weeks on end. But, um, my next pick that I put on there is Kirby and the forgotten land. Uh, Ooh, this is one that, that. Very good. Yeah, okay. I think yeah, brought yeah, yeah, Kirby yeah. into like, you know, it added Kirby uh, d dimension to Kirby that you don't <laughs> normally have in those games. And mm -hmm. I think it's just really fun to play with a decent amount of replayability for, for a Kirby game. Um, I'm a big Kirby stand and this is probably a top, it's a top five Kirby game for sure. But like, on a certain day, it might even be a top three Kirby game. So it needs I to agree. be here. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's Star Allies, though. Bad. Hate it. Hate that game. <laughs> we'll not be on this list. Was, was that a Switch game? Yeah. It yeah. was the first. That's Kirby a 2D Switch one, game. right? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. Uh, Luke, back to you. And at some point, we're going to start doing a speed round, uh, but we're going to do some slow picks. A couple more slow picks. Okay. I'd be remiss. This is a recent one, but Pikmin 4 has got to be on this list. Yep absolutely adored it had never cared about a pikmin game before but what a delightful experience another example of nintendo being weird and quirky and fun um great in handheld great on the tv um it's one of the rare games i hundred percented in terms of each individual level which i rarely do I, i'm i'm very quick to move on with games but i i just had so much fun playing it moment to moment that i really stuck with it uh, it's the crossplay conversations, uh, second best game of 2023. So it has to be on this list, right? Even AJ, without my vote, which is crazy. As is Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> okay, uh, AJ, up, up with you now. Uh, I'm gonna, Got him. I'm gonna hit a hard pivot. Suica game. Oh, it's two dollars. Okay, okay. It's two dollars. <laughs> it was like, it was death. It was like it, the crazy thing is like. Um, uh, we did a, a like top five best games of 2023, and it made my top five over Mario Wonder. <laughs> Dang! So like like literally, I think I put in like ten hours into Mario Wonder. I put in like forty <laughs> into Sweet Game. Let's it's go! Just, it's just so good. It's just so good. I don't know what else to say. It's a good game. They got a cute little fruit man. You gotta get the watermelon. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> no said. Uh, <laughs> Joseph. Uh, we're gonna go Metroid Dread. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that might have been the first Metroid game that I had actually finished. Um, and it was it was a nice little sleeper hit. It just kind of just came out of nowhere, and uh, I think it caught a lot of people non Metroid stands by surprise because i know there was the whole thing about like it was announced a decade or something ago and then it kind of just disappeared uh yeah like a, a great introduction of the metroid franchise to the switch um, that one came out alongside of the switch oled and looks very very good just <laughs> just throwing out looks great video. on lcd too is all, is all i'll say <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go a little against the curve here and I'm going to say Tetris 99, which Whoa. is a weird one because it's a super, it's a Nintendo Switch Online exclusive where you play Tetris against 98 other players. Um, it's fun. It sucks that it's behind a paywall and you have to pay monthly to play it. Um, but dope thing. And I wish it was in more places. Is that game still up? Like, did they? Yeah. Didn't I think, they I think so. Oh, okay. they, they shut down Pac-Man. Oh, yes. that's and what it did was. they shut that's down Mario okay. thirty five too? Uh, I thought no. I, I mean, yes, 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 yes. They only did that did, for the yeah. year for and the, the thirty five. F zero and that's Tetris are the only ones. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, Nintendo. Uh, Luke. <laughs> uh, wait, Jacob. What can you put? No, well, I guess it'd be hard to put numbers on this. Do you know where we're at here? Uh, I think we're around sixteen now. Okay. I'm going to throw yeah. out um, Mario Party Superstars. Great pick. As my favorite Mario Party, um, it literally takes the best mini games across the whole series. You can play with a bunch of people. 
it's really fun. I play it every Christmas with, with, with my parents and my grandma. Everybody has a good time. They want to play it again the following year. I think that speaks for itself. Very fun. Uh, AJ. Uh, Mario Maker 2. There it is. Good it's, pick. It's, good it's pick. just... It's just, in my opinion, at this point, the pinnacle of 2D Mario because it's infinite. It's like you just make Mario levels until you don't want to make or play any more Mario levels. <laughs> um, I, I don't think that they have, even with Wonder, which is why I, I have such a bad taste in my mouth about that game. Um, there, there, there hasn't been a moment since Mario World where it's like, okay, this is a reason to, to make a new one. This is a reason to like reinvent the wheel. So with Mario Maker, a lot of the things that are like, oh, that was a cool platformer idea are possible in in this game. The only thing that you can't do is be like, oh, this will be a cool suit. But I mean, they could if they wanted. They could add like DLC suits and all that kind of stuff. But that's another topic. Wait till you get uh, Super Mario 2 Deluxe on Switch 2. (laughs) (laughs) True. Joseph. Yeah, I think... I'm going to go third party once more uh, since we're getting late in the numbers here. And I'm going to go Hades. Like Luke said, I think Mm -hmm. Hades is like in addition to Hollow Knight, Hades was kind of like the Switch game. Everybody played it on Switch, ran well, um, which is not very common for third party games a lot of times. Uh, So, yeah, Hades. I think if it's only a couple third parties, Hades deserves a spot in my opinion. Um, I went Fire Emblem Three Houses as a tactics game, but I think there's another coming from a third party that needs to be on this list, and it's Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I was going to do it mm. if you didn't. <laughs> uh, the gameplay, they tweaked in a way that makes it f- super fun. The writing is surprisingly good. And just the, uh, the soundtrack of getting, like, sh- um, of getting, like, uh, Grant Kirkhope, um, uh, Yoko Shimomura, and there's one other like person doing music, and it's insane. Uh, so for those facts alone, Ubisoft with a banger, uh, Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Let's go one more full round, and then we'll do a speed round. I think we'll probably get to 40 games on this list, and then we can cut from there. Uh, so 40, Luke, 30, 30 to 40. Okay. Luke. Okay. Um, I'd like Breath of the Wild to be on this list just to help my odds of oh, getting a, a Zelda game <laughs> on this list. Okay. Both excellent. Okay. I don't have a lot to say about it currently, but when we get to debating if it stays, I, I will. All right. AJ, last long pick. Oh, last pick. There'll be a speed round, but like the last one where you get to really give your case. Mm, Pokken. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pokken yeah. tournament. Yeah, Pokémon. It's just really sick. I'm a, I mean, I'm a big competitive fan. I'm a big fighting game fan. I like Pokémon. It it does all of those things combined. Um nice. also, it's like it does it in a way that's like a very like Nintendo kind of thing to do to be like Pokémon's like, mm, we're not in this genre. How do we be in the genre in a way that nobody else is in the genre and they did that by being like we're not gonna pick 2d fighter versus 3d fighter we're gonna do both <laughs> like we're gonna have the like face uh switching and and all that sort of stuff um my only grievance with this game is that there's not more of it that there's not uh like fighters passes or like a pokemon 2 by now because there's so much that they could have done there's a thousand pokemon in total or over a thousand pokemon in totality and only like what 30 percent of them are like represented in the game at all let mm-hmm. alone as fighters so Pokemon tournament um joseph last long pick yeah this one probably will get cut but i'm gonna go ahead and nominate super mario 3d all-stars um, mm. I know none of these games are actually Switch games, but I did have a lot of fun picking it up, going through uh, uh, Super Mario Sunshine for the first time in like over a decade. Uh, and it was also my first time completing Super Mario Galaxy. So I thought that was a dub. Like I know on the flip side, Nintendo should make it easier to play those games. Uh, so there's kind of like a double-edged sword there, but... Yeah, I, I really liked the three pack there. Oh, what's your favorite one in that pack? 
uh super mario galaxy for sure i was like dang they're kind of doing some crazy stuff here uh mm -hmm. even though like the wiimote controls don't translate perfectly but they translate definitely good enough to get through the game and not be frustrated love it um my last pick is going to be slay the spire uh mm -hmm. which is like nice. i think a, a very good card game uh roguelite uh that you could play for hours and hours and has like a surprising amount of depth to it not a switch exclusive but i think like the handheld mode really lends to really fun gameplay you can take on the road with you uh here's what i'm thinking we each get three more picks that we're going to do round robin style. Uh, and then from there, we're going to decide our list. So very quickly, Luke, what is your first pick you're adding to the list? Um, dead Cells. Dead Cells. Okay. Um, over to AJ. Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley. That was on Joseph. my short list too. Uh, arms. Ooh, arm. Interesting. I'm down. I like it. I like the I way like you it. think. <laughs> I'm going to go snipper clips. Am I the only one? Silence. Nah, you're good. You're good. I'm, I'm down for it's snipper cool. clips. I'll it's give cool. you a plus one for snipper clips. All right. Uh, back to you, Luke. Um, Celeste. Nice. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. AJ. Good job. Thank Good you. job. Thank you. <laughs> that's a first party game, right? Oh, wait, yes. that's a game. Well, I thought of, you were yeah. complimenting. <laughs> it's right here. Good job. Well, I don't know. Amazing. <laughs> uh, Joseph. Uh, let's go ahead and say I have no clue. Minecraft. I'll put Minecraft on that's there. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and take that one off. Go ahead and take that one off. <laughs> Can you think of another pick? No, no, go ahead. Keep it. We'll cut it. Okay. Easy cut. Okay. Easy fodder uh, for later. Last games to add to the list, uh, Luke. Um, I didn't play this on Switch, but I feel like it'd be a very good Switch experience. I'll go Sea of Stars. Ooh, Sea of Stars. Um, I forgot my pick. I just skipped over myself here. So um, I'm actually going to go and put... Oh, man. I'm going to put Dave the Diver on this list. Because it is on Switch now. Okay. Uh, so, Luke, you gave your last one. Uh, so now we're going to AJ. Your last one. Uh, WarioWare, move it. Oh, They did it. They came back and they made a good WarioWare game after so long. <laughs> that, I love that's it. the newest one, right? Yeah. Okay. The other one, Gear Together, is not a good WarioWare game. I didn't like it, yeah. No, that's fair. I'll Joseph. Check out the new one. Last pick. Uh, game I did not play, but... Everybody says that it was fire. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country. Good game. Tropical Freeze. And then, look, I would I would be very upset if this game wasn't on the list. I hate that I'm the guy who has to put it on here. Um, but I'm going to put Super Mario Wonder on this list. Boo. <laughs> Somehow I forgot yeah. about that. Somehow I'm I forgot about that. I'm that guy. I feel like the fact that it didn't get added until just now. It says a lot, speaks. doesn't it? <laughs> says, it says something. It says something at the very Dang. least. But what was Minecraft the first game mentioned, there. everyone? Let's remember that. Uh, okay, well. Hey, um, I don't disagree. <laughs> I don't disagree at all. <laughs> Love it. We are at 36 games. Do you guys just want to make it 40, or do we want to just stick with 36? We, I mean, this is we can. 36. We we're can just going to cut them anyways, right? Make it 40. Everything's gotten a, a shout okay, out. One more, let's one more narrow round. it down. Okay. One more, Luke. Oh, go. okay. <laughs> Ooh, uh, shoot, sorry, I wasn't ready. Um, <laughs> Link's Awakening? The, okay, the, yep. The remake they did? Yep, Legend of uh, Zelda. Enjoyed that a lot. I'm between two. I'll say, I'll say, uh, Venba. Venba, good. good. Mm. Yeah. Joseph? Very good game. Uh, Ring Fit Adventure. Ooh, okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, and for the last game on our list, I'm gonna go, oh. I'm going to go and put Dredge on this list. It's a yeah. good Switch game. Yeah, I'm going to put Dredge on the list. I was like, do I put Super Blood Hockey and be Canadian or do Dredge? And we're doing Dredge. <laughs> nice. All right. Here's our list of 40 games. I'll read them out. Um, and then we'll decide what our 20 are. Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Smash Ultimate, Super Mario Odyssey, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Splatoon 2, Luigi's Mansion 3, 
Pokemon Legends Arceus, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Luke, do you want to take it from 11 to 20? Sure thing. Um, 11 is Kirby and the Forgotten Lands, 12 Pikmin 4, 13 Metroid Dread, 14 Tetris 99, 15 Mario Party Superstars, 16 Super Mario Maker 2, 17 The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, 18 Pokémon Tournament, 19 Super Mario 3D All-Stars, and 20 Arms. Uh, AJ, starting from 21. <clears throat> Uh, Snipper Clips, good job. WarioWare, move it. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Super Mario Wonder, Hollow Knight, Suica Game, Hades, Mario Plus Rabbit, Sparks of Hope, Slay the Spire. And to Joseph. Rounding us out, we have Dead Cells, Stardew Valley, Celeste, Minecraft, Day the Diver, Sea of, the sea of Stars, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, Vimba, Ring Fit Adventure, and Dredge. All right. That's a cool list. These yeah, are the 40 essential Switch games, but unfortunately today we have to cut down to 20. Um, so here's what I'm proposing we do. Um, I think there are some games that are probably very obvious that need to be on this list. Um, do we want to start by putting things into a, like, uh, this is locked list, or do we want to start cutting first? I think it's easier to lock, personally. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I would throw out the top five for me as yeah. lock, I'm not saying the order, but I'm saying, I think those five are definitely, I think they're pretty in the free. 20. I think the only the, one that's kind of like, yeah, I think the only thing that's kind of eh, like debatable is like is Splatoon, Splatoon. not so much. So not so much because I don't think Splatoon belongs there, but it's just because it's like, Splatoon th feels like a number 20 which Splatoon to me. Is, I, I mean, I disagree. I oh, just okay. think, because I, I do think that Splatoon is good enough, but it's just it's kind of in a similar uh, position as Pokemon to me, where it's like neither one of them stick the landing as well as they should here. And for Splatoon two, I think it is the the best pick out of the two because of the fact that the core of Splatoon is multiplayer and all that stuff, and that mm -hmm. still doesn't work right. <laughs> like the game still, I I get con uh, communication errors every time I play it which is not true for splatoon 2 like before this game came out and i'm like being an evangelist for splatoon as a splatoon 1 fan on the wii u to my friends and being like we should all play this game it's crazy because like even on the wii u it has some of the best online play i've played in a video game full stop period not on a nintendo platform but period i can count on one hand the amount of times that i have had disconnections between splatoon 1 and splatoon 2 that is not true for three <laughs> so then it's like uh, then there's that but i do think that there's a lot of like functional improvements that splatoon 3 makes so for that reason splatoon 2 is like kind of like eh, i don't know because that's okay. Splatoon 3 does okay. some things better but then how about we do this there are some games here that are like there's probably five or six that are very clearly absolutely need to be on this list. Mm -hmm. If I name them and all four of us go, yup, can we lock them in? Yes. Yeah. Seems Super fair. Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Super Mario Odyssey. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We're saying yes to top sure. 20 in yep. any order. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and we're not going to order this list because then we'd be here for four hours. Sure. <laughs> um, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I think that I, as a person who still didn't love The Legend of Zelda, I think that one of the two of them has to be on this list. Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom has to be on this list. I feel like I'm not putting Breath one? of the Wild on here. Would be crazy. Ooh. Yeah, I'll say I, not because of w which one I prefer, because there's reasons why I'm like, like, like I love and hate both of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Breath of the Wild is like the easy starting point. Like, yeah. why would you play Tears of the Kingdom if you haven't played Breath of the Wild? I mean, yeah, why would you play Tears of the Kingdom if you haven't played Breath of the Wild? So, so y'all are saying Breath of, the Breath of the Wild is the one. Yeah. Luke, do you have I'm an saying objection? they're both on the list, but. Oof. I'm not gonna. I, I might die on that hill. Actually, to I don't be honest. disagree. Because like, I don't disagree. Here's, yeah. here's, I, I, here's I, my I say, thing. Go for it. Sorry, uh, ju just put out like a thesis statement, and I, I'd love to hear your thoughts too. But in my mind, these two games are 
two of the greatest games of all time, two of my favorite games of all time. Uh, not just this console, but like any game mm-hmm. I could possibly play. Like this, yeah. This is in consideration for those conversations. Like, if we're talking about you only get twenty games on the Switch, I think those have to be two of them personally. But I'll defer to yeah. the group. It's hard to I argue agree. against that, to be honest. I agree. Um, I I would just say we should lock in breath of the wild now keep tears of the kingdom as like a probably because there are other games on here not so much that i think are better or anything like that but i think could be a thing of like just for for variety's sake of like this is a really really good game and if i'm recommending 20 games to anybody they might not be the biggest zelda fan specifically so who's to say they want to play they want to have two zelda games you know and see i'm I'm team zelda doesn't get two spots on this list Mm. i'm not put breath of the wild on there i'm not saying i'm on that yeah put put breath of the wild before we move on but then you guys are gonna be like and then tears of the kingdom whoops there's a 19th spot there it goes maybe 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 it's just the most deserving of the 20th or 19th spot we don't know argument for 15 (laughs) other games being better than tears of the kingdom I do. I have a compelling okay. argument for 25 of these games being better Wait, than both of the games being insane. Insane. This is insane. insane. Put, put Breath of the Wild on there. Put Breath yeah, of the Wild. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. Put Breath of the Wild, wild on there. there. Um, and I'll say, I don't even necessarily <laughs> think better, like full stop better, makes sense for this. I just think like the, the, the more productive way to look at it <laughs> is like the, okay. the more okay. like fair enough, fair agreeable. Enough. 20 games for just anybody to be recommended okay all right so those are our five locks for now um i'm just team like let's get v- more variety on the list that's yeah all. i think no. what we I should do now it. is maybe it. cut some so mm-hmm. we'll go around the same order that we went around and then somebody make a suggestion for a cut and if all of us just say yes then we'll cut it these are all great games but we can only have 20 uh luke suggestion for cut no shade but probably ring fit adventure yeah, that's great. I I think that's kind of crazy, honestly. Ooh. I never owned it. I think it's kind of. I crazy. never owned it, so. <laughs> I I have the ring somewhere, but it's not out in a place of prominence. <laughs> I think so ring fit it. If four mm-hmm. people, do, if one person says keep it, if then we keep it for now. It can stay. It. That was just the first one that came to mind for me. I, okay. I can throw. Can, should I throw All out right. another one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. How about? I put it on the list, but I don't think Link's Awakening needs to be on this list. It's it's a solid game, but I'd I'd prefer to see Breath of the Wild as the rep mm-hmm. for the Zelda series. All right. I mean, for <laughs> a, a similar picking, a similar line of thinking for me, I would take 3D All Stars off of this. Yeah. yeah I'm okay. Fine with so taking both of those off. Okay. So here, since I'm AJ, you're next. Those, so yeah. Luke, Link's Awakening. Is everyone good with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah. That's okay. Fine. Uh, and AJ, yours was... 3D All-Stars. 3D All-Stars? Mm-hmm. How do we feel? Yeah, I, I'm I okay think with so. it. Because I think those three games would be on the essential list for 64 oh, and Wii. Yeah. And, you know yeah. what I mean? Just yeah. for that It's reason. not even the first time that the, those games have been re-released, <laughs> let alone released. True. So, Good, yeah, though. Yeah. Good collection, though. Yeah. Um, Minecraft. Yeah, take that. Off. Yeah, it's just not take tied to the <laughs> Switch. That's why. Uh huh. Also, yeah, I think take if I off. was really gonna play Minecraft, I'd want to play with like the crazy PC, yeah, mm-hmm. lighting stuff and mods and all that. <laughs> that oh, that's the not first that thing that you're around. Gonna... <laughs> uh, Luke, back to you. Wait, 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 wait! I didn't, I didn't get one. Didn't you? Didn't take... you? Okay, go ahead. I didn't suggest anything. Uh, go ahead and take Dredge off. Yeah. Wait. That was my pick. <laughs> Dang, I thought everybody was going to be like, yeah, okay. okay. I, was, I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine. I barely know essential? what that game is. Like, you mentioned it, I was like, oh, yeah, that game does exist. So, yeah. I'm just saying, Not essential. essential? I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Luke, back to you. Um, hmm. How do we feel about arms? Is there a lot of arms passion? I like arms. It's I fun. think arms. It's fun. Yeah. I think and arms in terms is of a variety good, like, conversation, it's mm-hmm. not. I 
didn't like arms. How dare you? Um, that's a good theme song. I think there's easier cuts. I'll say that. That's how I'll phrase this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then Luke, do you have another one? Another suggestion? Um, I guess for a similar argument to 3D All Stars, maybe Tropical Freeze, just since it was previously oh, on I the Wii U. About that. That's I, where I, I didn't play it. I didn't but, play it. So. Right. I, I feel like a lot of people say did that, play it on the Switch. So. I'm not. I'm not necessarily like fighting for this game, but I will say an argument, an argument to keep it over, like in spite of its similarity in terms of like being a, a, a remaster or whatever. Um, is I would say that it's in, con- in contention for being one of like one of, if not the best Donkey Kong Country games. Full stop. So like, yes, yeah, it's, it's a remaster, but it's one of the best games, and it's one of the best games that relatively a lot less people okay. have and music's been able very to dope play. in it too that's also true i'll throw out one that i think is probably just a me pick but dead cells it's very good but it's very good on other systems as well yeah I'm yeah fine with that okay there it is all right um aj uh we can throw off venba it's a really good game but i wouldn't necessarily like i wouldn't i would um recommend it to anybody but i wouldn't necessarily expect anybody to want to play it you know so yeah and it's really not like there's no connection to the switch also so like Mm -hmm. everybody good with that cutting venba yeah yep great game please play it uh but venba's gonna be cut there joseph uh slay the spire just because i don't really connect that game to the switch either i think similar argument as dead cells maybe yeah I'd be okay mm-hmm. with losing it, uh, you know, even though I said it's cool to bring handheld, um, but like it's fine to play on PC as well. It's fun, so I'm okay to drop it. Okay. Uh, uh, can you put the numbers back on the on the thing I can, so I can see how we're I doing can. here? Uh, we're at thirty three. Okay. Getting there. Uh, okay. Getting there. Okay. So, what suggestion am I gonna make? Oh, I don't want to come after AJ because I think I, the, I've got two or three, but they're all coming after AJ specifically. Um, I have I have fight in me, man. I could I could we can fight. <laughs> sea, of, sea of stars. Uh, sea of stars. There, yeah, there are mean, picks that I feel stronger about. Yeah. Joseph, this is yours, that, I think. Yeah. I, I I threw this Was one out. Um, oh, you threw that one out. Just quest- thought for the group with it in mind. We don't have a lot of JRPG representation here. And when I do think of Nintendo, when I do think of the Switch, I do think of awesome place to play JRPGs portably and docked. I might have Doesn't put Xenoblade Chronicles over this. I, yeah, yeah, it's I, just not I, my honestly, genre, so I yeah. wouldn't even. Yeah, I was about. To, yeah, I have no horse in this race because I'm not a J. Like, I I actively dislike JRPGs mostly. So. I feel like honestly, I feel like if a JRPG fan was listening to this, they would probably be asking why no one has said Xenoblade Chronicles Three because it mm-hmm. sounds like that was the one that defined the platform. Uh, I don't know. Sea of Stars just doesn't strike me as a okay. essential Switch I'm game. Good to- yeah, I'm good to cut it. It's just hard for me to say that any JRPG is like an essential game that I could recommend to anybody when I wouldn't even recommend it to me. You know what I mean? Like if I can't even start <laughs> with it being something that I want to play, it's hard to like anybody. Yeah, it's hard. You know, sure. Like if I knew yeah. you like those types of games, I would mm-hmm. recommend it. Um, but and anybody? it's not a JRPG. It's a QRPG. Yeah. It's a Quebec mm-hmm. RPG. The, <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we want to go to five more locks? I think it's time. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, sure. I'm going to give our guest the uh, the first set of... I'm going to give Luigi's, you the first one, AJ. Luigi's Mansion 3. Thoughts? I, I can agree with that. Yeah, yep. I think that makes sense. Okay. Um, Luke? Um, Kirby, I'd probably say. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yep, I'm really, there. Really solid 3D platformer. I'm there. Um, let's go back to AJ because there's four of us and five picks. So AJ, you get another pick. Okay. Um, I mean, I know that this 
I I want to say Pokemon Scarlet, but I know that's probably going to be one that we're going to have to fight about. So I'll save that for later. I think. Okay. Um. Hmm. Do I want to? I'll watch? back you up that I think it's the most interesting Pokemon I, on this list. I, if we're speaking our mind, I would also. I'm not saying I love Scarlet, but I mm-hmm. do think it is the best representation of the potential of the Switch. Okay. So I, I feel comfortable logging that in. I'll say Pokemon Look, Scarlet. I'm okay. And then as someone who put Pokemon Legends Arceus on this list, I am prepared to be a, a big man and say, if you guys want to cut Arceus here, I'm okay with it. I'm down to cut it. And yet. I will say, I don't hate Arceus, but I do think that like, the the thought of Arceus is better than the game in practice. Like the the fact that there are still like there's more people. If you look at Twitch right now, there's more people playing Pokemon Sword and Shield than there are Arceus, and that's because there's no real replayability. Like there's it's not. fun in the minute mm-hmm. to minute, but every other Pokemon game on the Switch, including Pokemon Let's Go, to be honest, is more replayable than Arceus is. Dang. Okay. So it's um, a good argument. So everyone's fine with that. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'm not cool. going to defend it. Okay, Joseph, what are you locking in? Uh, I will lock in Metroid Dread. Everybody? I'm not mad yeah. at that. Yeah. Okay. I think that's cool. solid. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yeah. I think it makes sense. Okay. Okay. Sweet. We're at 10. Uh, our tenor, Smash Ultimate, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Luigi's Mansion 3, Kirby, and the Forgotten Land, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Metroid Dread, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. We need 10 it's more. Ten. It's a good 10. What do we do now? Do we cut uh, more? I think I mean, we should I have, keep suggesting locks. I, I think, think because I feel there's like a couple of locks here. here that I yeah. think are All obvious, right, let's do another so. round. Uh, let's go around okay. Luke. Locks. Um, Pikmin 4. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I think it deserves there. to be on this list. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's easy. Uh, AJ. Uh, pff, Mario Maker 2. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I say yes. <laughs> Not sure. I say Mario Maker 2 over Wonder. Yeah, the fact that nobody so thought to say Wonder until that. the end, <laughs> I think is a strong enough argument there. Um, but also, I mean, 3D it's hard for me to argue this. against it. Or 3D World isn't even on this. 3D World, yeah. yeah. I'm not, yeah, okay. 3D World's not a 2D uh, game, though. I mean, Fair. going by this list that we have, I am not opposed uh, about putting Super Mario Maker on there. Uh, I have a hard time putting a third-party game over Super Mario Maker, and all the first parties... I would say Super Mario Maker is still at the top of the first parties that we have remaining. So, Okay. I am cautiously okay with it. Okay. I'm okay. just worried that okay. we're going to miss stuff on the list, but maybe there's exchanges that can be made. Joseph. I think there's probably yeah. already things we're missing mm-hmm. just in terms of like the genre preferences and gaps in our own play you know what i mean but like this is our list so yeah. i think yeah, yeah so true. far like, so I, good. I couldn't in good faith be like uh, yeah let's put xenoblade chronicles on there because i don't play that's just not our, <laughs> yeah like yeah that's yeah, hard it's hard to argue for a game that you don't play haven't played yeah whatever i thought about throwing out know. like persona 5 because if I had played it first on, on Switch, Switch, I probably would have finished it. It is now. Yeah, I had to do a double take like, just now. I'm like, wait, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they did when they, they did the whole did. thing where yeah, like yeah. they announced it for Game Pass. It also came to Switch at that. Mm. I forgot that about that. Yeah. But anyway, not to add more. We don't need to add it to the list. I'm just saying things like that of like we're on the yeah. brain. Anywho, jo- are we still locking? Yeah, Joseph yeah. has his lock. I would. I would argue. Uh, Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope is a really good example of like the third party, like meeting Nintendo where they're at and like making a good uh, product out of that. Um, this is up to you I, guys. I abstain. <laughs> I recuse <Okay>. myself. <laughs> it's really good. The music is fantastic. The gameplay is fantastic. It's a really compelling, solid strategy game. 
I love the space setting of Sparks of Hope. I, I'm good with it. I'm That's also good, good with it because I really love that game. Um, it was one of my favorites last year when it came out. Um, I'm going to put the first third-party game that does not include Nintendo IP up here and see what you guys think. Hades. Yeah, I'm good for that. Uh, I would support that. Okay, yeah. easy. I thought that was going to be tougher. All right. Well, I think the 14. fact that it was the first console it came to, mm -hmm. and for most folks that didn't play it on PC, that is where you played it first. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yep, that's where I played it first. So, okay, we have six spots left. Okay. Um, I think there's not going to be a unanimous ones here. So, do we want to just start throwing up suggestions? Uh, I, I mean, have one more unanimous one potentially. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. Luke, it is your turn in the order. So, suggest it. Okay. I would throw out Celeste, even though it's available on other platforms. This this is where we get into this murky territory of like, it, it is available elsewhere, but it is in that like greatest of all time, wonderful platformer, awesome narrative and mental health commentary. The music's fantastic. There's a lot of good games on this list though, but just throwing yeah. it out there. Yeah. I mean... I could see it. I can see it. I don't feel if, strongly if, about it. It feels so. like a maybe. So <laughs> yeah, let's like, let's move move past. Can I make um, a suggestion? I'm out of the order here. But okay, multiplayer sure. games, we don't have tons of them. Mario Party Superstars. I was gonna suggest oh, sure. that. I forgot next. about that. I'm down for yeah. that. Yeah. I'm yeah, done I for that we as we well. It's put really, a Mario really good. Okay. It's easily the best Mario Party in my mind, no no question. Five spots for 16 games. Uh, I can be a big man here and let Super Mario Wonder go if I'm the only one who's going to fight for it. Yeah. Uh, the changes they made uh, to the multiplayer to like bothered me enough that I am not going to push for it on this list. I wouldn't be mad at it, but... I, if, if there was enough trepidation, I would fight for it with you, Jacob. But it seems like a... This seems like a tough appeal battle. I feel there like are other it's, games I would it, cut first, but I feel like if it, if it's if it makes the list, it would be because it's like, of course, you got to put the new Mario on the list, and I don't think that's a good <laughs> enough reason to put it on the list. It's like no, literally, nobody thought to mention this video game. <laughs> that says something. <laughs> Yeah, it was the last pick. Especially so I, since I think it fair. came out, like recency bias is a real thing. And yeah, still, <laughs> nobody thought to put it on the list. <laughs> yep. I think that sounds a lot. You're not wrong. Uh, are we going to put the Splatoon? I feel like a Splatoon has to be on yeah, there. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, the, like, like I said, the only thing the only that I'm... There. Yeah, the only, one that, the only I'm reason why three. I'm even a little bit like, uh, I don't know. but Two Splatoon. or three, because I'm more of the three camp. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think I'll say along the same logic for me or or like how I come out on the other end of Scarlet, like in spite of its flaws, I do think it is for a lot of reasons the best Pokemon game. Um, Splatoon 3 is the same thing, but it's just it has the flaw of the connection issues. <laughs> um, I think Splatoon 3 is a better game, though. Luke, are you you were the one that suggested this, right? Yeah, I think it's more of one of those, like, it's my first Splatoon game, yeah. so it's my favorite. But 3 is really solid. It has a nice single-player component, too. So I think 3 is perfectly good. So Over are we two. all good with 3? Yeah, that's fine. Joseph? Yeah. Put okay. 3 on. And, on and it's kind of one of those, too, of, like, if this is the essential current list, like, the newer version of the game is probably... Mm -hmm. the preferred I'm in this looking case. at this list and maybe you guys can have your Tears of the Kingdom on here too I played 15 hours man. of it and it just didn't click with me like that's my whole thing and my whole thing was like maybe do I want both games on here can, but the second game I introduces a bunch my yeah. Tears of the Kingdom soapbox just yeah, momentarily go. for the listeners make my case mm -hmm. to each their own with this game I, I hold no ill will if it doesn't jive with folks but like the fact that they set out to make a sequel to one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time and did something really impressive, did something new between the depths and the sky islands. And then 
reinventing the gameplay in a really unexpected way in ways that push players to break the game. I had so much fun solving different puzzles in Tears of the Kingdom and getting really creative and then having these water cooler moments with folks talking about how we solve specific puzzles and coming up with totally different scenarios. Like if if you were, it, it's one of the few games that makes me feel like I'm a kid. Like I'm 10 years old, I'm in my sandbox and I'm having the best time. And I just think there's something to be said for the level of creativity that that game allows you. It is aimless in a sense, but if you are one to embrace that level of freedom it can be really awesome not for everybody but that's why i love it i'll plus one you on that i will say my negative thoughts on the game are kind of the opposite like i don't really understand the the like uh like the notion that tears of the kingdom is aimless because i think that it puts more guardrails on you in a lot of different ways than breath of the wild did um, like my least favorite parts of the game are parts of the game that felt like them saying, fine, we wanted to break conventions last time. You can have a little bit of your conventions back. And then like a lot of the the, the like uh, execution there felt sloppy for me. Like the Great Plateau versus the Great Sky Islands are night and mm. day. I, I, hate, like, I genuinely hated tears of the kingdom my first three hours of playing the game because the sky islands are so restrictive whereas the great plateau i didn't even want to leave the great plateau because i was having so much fun with tears of the kingdom i was like oh give me off of these islands please with breath of the wild it's like i I don't want to leave yet (laughs) you know um that said i think tears of the kingdom once you get past those things it does a better job at encouraging you and in some ways forcing you to think outside the box whereas like breath of the wild if you wanted to you could still pretty much play through that game as like at least a traditional open world game but tears of the Mm -hmm. kingdom forces you to think outside of even that box like breath of the wild kind of makes you baby step outside of like thinking about playing a zelda game like ocarina of time for the 30th time tears of the kingdom goes a step further and says okay this is also not your your daddy's uh open world game or whatever um and i think that that's <laughs> worth noting i don't really think anyone said anything like incredibly negative about the game no i mean like, I, I, looking it, at it's, the list, it would be a whole thing it would be a whole thing but, yeah. but i do L- think looking at this 14 list like you can't you can't not put it on there i don't right? think I'm there's anything better in the, over. the remains yeah, there's not. There's not. yeah yeah we did it everybody we did it okay <laughs> You guys can put whatever else you want. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, three spots left. Arms. No, I'm joking. Um, even though I do think the game's really good. Um, who's turning? What about is it? Warrior? I was going to say that. Yeah. Just throwing that one out there because you were yes. very passionate about that. If you're yes. telling me it's like the definitive good Warrior Wear, I, yeah. I think that would make. I think sense, it is one of the best Warrior Warrior Wear games ever <laughs> so like if you like WarioWare, you'll probably like this game um, how's the hardware work with it does it work well enough yeah yes okay. um there is some of that like we thing of like it being janky is co- like is the point some of the time where it's like this mini game is hard because it's not a one-to-one like you actually doing the thing that you're emulating doing but I think that that's part of it. Like that's part of Wario where is like the, the like meta game of it all of like, this is fun because I look stupid doing it, you know? <laughs> um, not so much mm-hmm. in the like gamer I'm playing street fighter and I want to make sure I hit my combos kind of thing. You know um, there's, there's not really a moment where I could like genuinely feel like vindicated and being like the game, <laughs> I pressed a not B, you know? Cause like, that's part of Wario where it's like, think fast, do this thing. <laughs> and sometimes mm-hmm. you fall all, all over yourself trying to think fast and do the thing. What, what's the one before it? Get it together. Get Is it that together. the one? Again, yeah. Because yeah. um, it kind of does not. It's fine. <laughs> not a fan. Yeah. It's it, it like. It takes that away. Like the whole point of WarioWare again is think fast, do this thing. Yeah. WarioWare get it together takes a lot of that away by allowing you to have a main, as it were, to be yeah. like, okay, I'm a Wario player. So you know on base level, okay, I may not know exactly what it's telling me to do, but I know 
that if I just put myself in one of three positionings and press this button in the way that I know that I should, because this is my main, I'm going to get through the game. Um, whereas hmm. like WarioWare uh, Move It very literally has you like completely change like your stance from from game to game um to be like okay uh, I, I gotta be an alligator now how but how is this going to factor into the thing you know yeah i there's a trio of indie games on here that i think are all generational that i could see being the last three slots on the list and not to like lead the witness here but sort of hollow knight stardew valley celeste seem like generational titles that could fit on this list I don't Joseph feel is, super did, strongly about Celeste personally. Like I think did, I think Celeste is a great Valley, game, but huh? Hmm. Did Stardew Valley come out in the Switch generation? I or did it? Think so. I think it was like it came out it right before the, the, the. Yeah, I think it came oh, out man. right so, before the Switch generation started, and then soon gotcha. after it came to Switch. So, so yeah. you would say that. So it, it's not like. Most people had already played it and then played it again on the Switch. It's like most people, when they found it, they played it on the Switch type situation. Yeah, yeah so it came out on Windows and Linux in 16 and then PS4 and Xbox One a couple months later. And then basically 18 months after launch, it came out on Switch. Okay. Okay. I was thinking Stardew Valley was older than it actually was, but okay. Okay. So maybe uh, not everything I mean, there is... I I'm with you, Jacob, to be honest. Um, Hollow Knight, Celeste, Stardew Valley are all very much Switch games. Like, mm -hmm. they're not quite full console. They're not quite made for the full console big TV experience, which is why I feel like they're so at home on the Switch. Um, I haven't played Stardew Valley, but I know it's legendary. I played Hollow Knight and Celeste both on the Switch, and those were my definitive experiences for that game. It sounds like Celeste is the only one that everybody's not sold on. Yeah, I'm not sold on Celeste. Um, I love I, it, but I, it doesn't need to be on this specific list. Yeah. I, I, think the game is great. I think the game is great. It's just not something that, like, for me personally, even though I've only played it on Switch, I don't think of Celeste as, like, okay, what is the best Switch games? It's just like Celeste is one of the great indie games. And because sure. I wouldn't even particularly like put it might not make my top 20 of like best indie games in totality. I don't know if I feel great about putting it in the top 20 for Switch. What if we personally. did? It was Stardew Valley. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight and yeah. Celeste. What, what if we do that... WarioWare instead of Celeste? I, don't I, could, know. I haven't played it personally, but I, I liked AJ's pitch for it. And if it is I mean, the like definitive WarioWare experience. I'm going to be honest. I'm not, I don't feel super strongly about any of the remaining games as like an essential. Sure. So like if we put WarioWare on there, Hollow Knight, Stardew Valley, I think those are solid games, solid representation. And I don't think we're missing out on a ton. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. The only thing that I I wish we could have accounted for is I do think even though there's like um, some uh, like negative connotation with the like practice, I do think the like 99 phenomenon yeah, um, on the switch is too. noteworthy. I don't know if I feel like Tetris 99 is the best. Uh, like. I don't know, uh, spokesperson for it. Um, but I that do was think the that the first that is... one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, they yeah, did yeah. Mario and then they did, yeah, then they did Mario okay. and then they did. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I do, I, I do think that that is like a noteworthy switch centric experience. Um, not, not saying that I'm like particularly fighting for it, but I do think that like, if it was a thing that's like, I, I think of this, I think switch, I think for me, Tetris goes above um, Stardew and Hollow Knight specifically, but I don't know what of those two is more or less, you know. I, so I could live I mean, with I love Tetris. Empire. I I love Tetris. Do I love this pick because it's Tetris? A little bit. Yeah, I think Joseph? that's also kind of why I'm like, ah, is it like I I would personally, even though like so because of the fact that this is like 20 best games that you would recommend to anybody can't recommend it to anybody but i do think mario 35 is a better representative as a game <laughs> so it's like my, there's that 
difficult My thing about Tetris is like, I'm kind of like, I like Tetris on here. And if it were me, the only, the one I would replace would be Stardew Valley just because I haven't played it. But Mm. like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to argue either way. Tetris, I'm like, is this going to be like a, we're going to look stupid retroactively? Like, is the Switch 2 going to get announced? And they're going to be like, actually, also, we're turning off the Tetris 99 servers. That's the only one that I'm just like. They might. The only thing for I'm like, me, is this going to be a period not, piece? The main thing for me for Tetris is similar to the the remake games that we cut. It's like, how many platforms am I going to play a slightly tweaked Tetris on? You mm-hmm. know, um, like if I were to like pick one in particular, and like barring the like you can't play Mario thirty five, I would fight harder for F zero ninety nine than Tetris ninety nine person. Mm. Uh, but. Luke, go ahead, and then I have a suggestion oh, for us. Sure. I was just going to throw out, I do like 99 as a pick on the basis that it represents Nintendo trying to do something creative mm. and new in the online space within the infrastructure that they're like capable of. So it is a cool pick for that. But yeah, I, I, I kind of agree that I don't know if it's like, it's not as evergreen as some of these other mm-hmm. selections. Yeah. What is everyone's number one pick out of these four? Is is it fair to say we're now debating between WarioWare, Move It, Stardew Valley, Hollow Knight, and Tetris 99 as like yeah. the four games for the three slots? My number one yeah. is WarioWare out of the four. Okay. WarioWare is number one for you, AJ. Joseph? Uh, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. <laughs> Luke? I guess Stardew? And mine is Tetris 99. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that didn't help at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang, that did not help at all. Um, look, I don't want to break the list and say because I think there is an argument to say that Tetris 99. There's a chance that that game might get turned off, and we may never get to play it on another system. What if this was just 21 games, knowing that Tetris 99 could potentially be turned off with the Switch 2? <laughs> so yeah, you turn it off and just disappears thought. off the list. Yeah, 21 yeah, kinda, or yeah. 20 games. Make, make that one. Make Tetris 21, and I think we're good. Okay. Damn. I'm that easy? That. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Let's, wow. let's go with Since you guys is it's, it's hard to argue. <laughs> you can make that it's, decision. It's, I cannot. <laughs> it's hard to argue on this because it's just like, okay, like this is the last four or whatever. What I will say as we like wind down here is like I do think this exercise kind of puts into perspective that I think the Switch is like re- has a really strong argument for like greatest console of all time. Like the fact that most of the top 20, and if we try it a little bit harder, we could probably get a top 20 of all Nintendo first party games. Mm-hmm. That is like insane. I think you can and we're not talking easily about like, get a top 20 Nintendo yeah, published yeah. only. And like, easily. We're not talking mid. We're talking yeah. about like, like some of the 20, best. You're going to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, that's, that's pretty insane. If I'm I mean, being honest. four of these are third party, right? I mean, technically, mm-hmm. Tetris is. I mean, they are. Also- but I'm, I'm saying like we could knock off those four yes. and replace them with other stuff, and like the list would be still as strong. Really so. solid. Yeah. No, it's a good list. Great, it's a fantastic list. Let's recap it for the audio listeners. Um, starting with number one, AJ, you're our guest, so please do one to five. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. It's the actual number one. This isn't in order, but it's in order. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> Wait, what am I going to? <laughs> to, to uh, one to five. five. Okay, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Animal Crossing New Horizons, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Luke. Six Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Luigi's Mansion 3, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and Metroid Dread. Joseph, 11 and 15. Fire Emblem, Three Houses, Pikmin 4, Super Mario Maker 2, Mario Plus Rabbit, Sparks of Hope, and Hades. And 16 to 20, Mario Party Superstars, uh, Splatoon 3, WarioWare Move It, Stardew Valley, Hollow Knight, and all together, our bubble game number 21 on three. One, two, three, Tetris, Tetris 99. 99. <laughs> well, hey, there it is. Fix it and add it. <laughs> <laughs> love it um aj thank you so much for coming on the show today Thanks for um, having again me. if folks want to find you and your your hot takes uh, mm. about pokemon uh, where can they do so go to shop.watchredirect.com it has all the links to everything also you can get some cool merch <laughs> 
Heck yeah. Let's, let's pull that up and just see it really fast so you can see it for the, the video listeners. Oh, it didn't work out. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to pull it up. Um, but uh, And where can folks find you on Twitter? Um, Twitter.com slash A. McCray Jr. Or Lovely. watch uh, Redirect. <laughs> Love it. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Um, mm-hmm. Before we go, we want to go through the three things that we want you to remember as you enter the end stage of this show. Um, do us three favors. Follow us on Twitter at Crossplay Convos. Uh, send this podcast to a friend because that's how people hear about podcasts. And give this re- podcast a review on your podcasting platform of choice because it really, really helps. And I'm just like, if you haven't done it yet, hey, if you listen to multiple episodes, you haven't given us a review yet, this is a like a, th- a thinly veiled threat. Do it. It's easy. I'll make it's it a easy. regular threat. Do it. Oh, <laughs> that's a threat. <laughs> uh, and hey, that's our show. Um, so we'll say what we always say. Go give your Nintendo Switch a one last hug. Thanks for listening. Bye. One last Goodbye. hug. <laughs>